Today we're going to take a look at a couple of search tool alternatives, starting with SpaceTime 3D. Now SpaceTime 3D lets you search Google, some images, Wikipedia, and YouTube videos in a very interesting visual way. So let's start by typing in a search term. I'm going to type in Edutecker and go over to search, and this is what I get. A very, very nice, clear-cut way of seeing all the sites and what they would bring me to. I can scroll through using my mouse or the scrub bar on the bottom of the page. It's a really great way for kids to kind of see what they get before they actually get there. You'll know if the site right away will have what you're looking for. Again, you can also click on the site behind it and see it kind of scroll in this 3D fashion. You can also search YouTube videos this way as well. And it's really nice to see a preview of what you're going to get before you actually click on it. Perhaps it's a remix or not the right version of the tool you were looking for. But this way you can see exactly what you want and you can click on it and you know what you're getting. Another cool tool is Red Z. Now Red Z over here lets you actually search very similarly but it has a couple of nice features in addition. So I typed in Edutecker again and I could scroll through using my mouse or using the arrows on the keyboard. Um, what I like about this is if you notice on the bottom of the page it gives you a full description of the, t of the website. So you actually not only get a picture of it but you can get a full blurb of text um, which gives you another hint as to what you're going to get when you actually get to that site. Really simple, really clean cut and easy to see what you're going to get before you go. Search Cube is a really cool way to search for sites as well. It's very, very visual and it kind of has a fun feel to it as well. Um, so I typed in Edgetecker and I'm going to get this crazy cube that I can rotate, flip, drag around, and kind of uh, just scrub over to get previews of the sites that I want to see. So very simply, I'm going to take my mouse and just uh, rotate the cube by pulling on it. And you can see over here, you know, it's a nice way to give you a lot of different previews right away. It searches also through YouTube videos and through Flickr accounts and through um, Twitter accounts as well. So you're really getting a full search. And on the right-hand side, you get a full preview and a nice image. So you know exactly what you're going to get before you click over to that site. Really cool tool. Tag Galaxy is a really neat way to search as well. So it's a way to search through Flickr content. So I'm going to type in the word uh, New York City over here in my initial tag. And the way this works is it's going to bring up a 3D galaxy that I can kind of click on to narrow my search. So I'm going to click on uh, New York City. I could click on Manhattan, different things. But click on New York City, and you'll see there's hundreds of thousands of pictures. And they come up in this very, very cool orb that uh, works very much the same way as, as Search Cube does, where I can rotate and spin it around and preview each of the pictures. So very quickly I'm giving it a spin, and if I want to see a picture up close, I can just click on it, and I can see exactly what it is. Now give it a spin, and again, really cool way to see a lot of pictures really, really simply, and uh, find the perfect image for a project you've been working on. So very, very easy to use, and extraordinarily fun as well. So that's some ways to search. Instead of just using your old standard Google search, there's a lot of cool tools out there that make it visual, fun, and interesting. Give it a spin.